We are going to visit the top three in a second. But first, I kind of wanted to do uh, a roundtable discussion with the, the four judges we have here uh, regarding what separated these top three teams that we're about to go through uh, from the rest of the competition and what made them stand out to you guys. A lot of it, you can open any of these three and look at them. And I know my jaw dropped almost every time. Um, they're all beautiful and unique in very different ways. There isn't something that I can point to and say, these are the top three teams because they all did this. Because those things that made them stand out were always different, which is really, really interesting and something I love to see. Yeah. With these. Oh, go ahead, Evan. Go ahead, Gabe. It's okay. Okay. Um, with these robots, you'll see every single part is custom made. There's no Go Builda. There's no Tetris. There's no nothing. It's all custom made. Um, and ev you can see the attention to detail in almost every part. There's pocketing, there's everything. All, I'm pretty sure almost every screw is in these next couple of robots. So the attention to detail on, on this cat is insane. Our third place team will receive these and hey, let's find out who it is. All right, thank you very much, Tyler. And like he just said, the third place team is team number 40 from FTC team 8802. So this was Sanford from 8802, and man, this was a really, really neat robot for a lot of reasons to me. Um, if you look at it, and the first thing I thought was, wow, everything about that concept looks really complex, but everything about their implementation feels pretty simple. Um, a lot of the parts were very nice and super cool custom, and they included a lot of really fine details. Um, looks like some carbon fiber shaft lifts, even a really funky reduction bevel gear on some of their shooters, and another one of those turreted webcam-assisted shooters, which is always really neat to see and allows for some variability that I don't think we've seen a ton of in FTC yet. What's nice about uh, this team is that they even listed out where, like, what teams they were inspired by. So, for example, they said that they got their turret idea from FRC Team 9887, um, or 98.7, sorry, High Rollers. And then they talked about how they had a pitch control mechanism at the end of their shooter that was inspired by FRC Team 118. So even though this robot did take cues from other, they designed the best. So they might have copied the best, but then they designed the rest. <laughs> It's always a good concept to learn, though. <laughs> yeah. Don't reinvent that wheel. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, without any any other comments for you guys, or can we move on to uh, the second place team? I think we're good. All right. Moving on. Actually, before we do the second place team, Tyler, did you want to do the same type of deal and showcase what they will be winning? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, so our second place team, uh, we already gave some away a little bit earlier, but why not do it again now? Uh, it's the awesome uh, set of Mechanum wheels. These are so cool. So our second place team We'll be winning the set of mechanic wheels. And uh, guys, as we see in the FRC Top 25, all the dramas in the two spot. Uh, so, of course, you'll probably know who the winner is afterwards. But these two teams, absolutely phenomenal. Let's find out who it is. In second place, we had team number 10 from FTC Team 731, Wannabe Strange. Yeah, you got, yeah whoever's talking is muted. All right, Carter, why don't you tell, start, start things off oh, with sure. uh, FTC 731. So one of the things that really stood out, first of all, with this robot is you just look at it and think, wow, that is a lot of detail going on there. There's all sorts of stuff going on there with ranging from the suspension on those wheel modules to help them get over the center bar to all their turret shooter and that low to the ground intake that just pulls them right in there on the front with that super wide at the first at the beginning and then narrows them down with some belts behind that and just so much detail here with all the screws the nice color scheme and all of that man opening this robot does not look like an ftc robot and the crazier part about this was it's one dude um that did yeah. all of this with the crazy time constraints pocketing is all really really sharp the suspension was wild and like the buddy climb i feel like i loved the little little addition of it pivots as you go up so you kind of pull that other robot back toward you which makes them pretty secure and kind of eliminates some of the fear of dropping your partner this robot just blew me away it was amazing yeah, uh, all the design is pretty 
pretty cool. I had not seen this robot until just on air a couple seconds ago. And yeah, wow, that blew me away. Yeah, everything on this robot is super detailed. But the one thing that we saw that was lacking on this robot that we couldn't find anywhere on their press release was that they didn't have a beacon mechanism. So that was the thing that ended up hurting this team the most. But everything on the robot was super clean, consistent pocketing, every single screw. So, yeah. Beautiful color scheme. Super consistent. And, like, the attention to detail, all of the folded parts having all looking real was really, really cool. And uh, yeah. like Gabe just mentioned before I hit you, uh, Carter, is... Um, is we do have a, a rubric that these go through. So missing something is probably pretty crucial in that, that rubric. So unfortunate, beautiful CAD, but still missing um, one small detail. Go ahead, Carter. Another thing that really stood out to me that is impressive is that one-way bearing power share system. So with that on their intake, it allows them to use those two motors on the intake, but then when they run it in reverse, you're actually gonna be able to run the hang mechanism to lift off the ground. And so this is really, sharing those motors between the two and really utilizing all the power you have with your limited motors. All right. Thank you guys very much. And now it is time to look at this first place team. Tyler, why don't you announce uh, what will be given to the first place team? Our first place winner is going to take home the master FTC kit. It has master in the name, which means it must be amazing. So uh, master <laughs> FTC kit. Ethan, can you tell us a little bit what's, uh, what's in this kit? Yeah, so our goal of this kit was to give you a little bit of everything and a big taste of GoBuild as a whole. Um, it allows you have four motors in there of some ratios that aren't seen a whole lot in FTC and a lot of intricate parts. We have a bunch of servo mounts, a bunch of servos, electronics, and everything you need to get up off the ground and started on your journey. It's a lot of fun, and I like just playing around with master kit and seeing what you can build that may be unique even with a bit of a parts restriction so if you want the master kit and go have a lot of fun with go build a uh hey design the best one overall and we're going to find out who that is in first place and winning the 2019 valor cat challenge was team number 44 uh, par participating students patrick london and ramsey from ftc team 3846 maelstrom so I would like to give a congratulations to Patrick Landon and Ramsey because every single part of their robot was just amazing. The detail on everything, the amount of screws, the pocketing, everything on their robot was perfect. Um, starting off with their drivetrain, which was one of my favorite parts. They've got the big wheels to help go over the barrier. They've got four motors on their drivetrain, and they have a PTO2, which they used to power their hang to. So... Uh, with their PTO, they're able to easily lift up two robots. The second render is the complete robot. Yeah, there you go. Um, but how it works out is that they have forks that drop down from the front of the robot that allows them to carry up another robot. Um, they have a turret. They, it seems like they accounted for every part of this game. They have their beacon mechanism at the front, which is super simple but effective. Every part of this robot was perfect, in my opinion. Yeah, I also what I also really loved about this team too was their documentation. Their press release is probably one of the nicest ones, if not the nicest ones. It's super detailed. They have a lot of really good information accounting for everything. All the renders in the press release look fantastic. It looked like you were looking like uh, at 254's technical blinders. It was that high of quality. We we were so blown away by how good that looked. At 14 pages, a ton of renders of a lot of individual components and especially talking about stuff like that PTO transmission, the catted chain, um, and a bunch of other really complex stuff. It was a really, really well-influenced well robot. It's also pretty cool. I think that this one also has a vision tracking turret as well. You sort of notice that these top three all had a turret, and that ended up being pretty unique and effective. Mm. Uh, one other thing I would like to add in is, like you said, it was 14 pages. Uh, that's not easy to do in a five-day span when you have to design that as well. So the fact that they're able to put all of that together, that must have been some late, late nights. So hat, hats off to all of you guys. Um, but yeah, that's very impressive that you can get a tech binder like that going in the five-day span plus actually have the robot to back it up. Yeah. So uh, thank you all very much for competing. These were some great, uh, great designs and great submissions. Special congrats to Team 44 Maelstrom for winning the Valor CAD Challenge. 
And thank you to everyone who has watched uh, Team 44 and all of the other winners. Make sure you message Tyler uh, on Twitch or in the fun Discord to claim your FTC uh, competition prize or any of the other prizes you got. And make sure uh, you are putting all the correct information in there. Uh, and we still have some more drawings to do. So, Tyler, go ahead and take it away. Yep, our last uh, and final drawing is uh, awesome. Once again, we have the uh, Low Side U Channel Bundle. So if you're interested in that, Valor was the keyword to put in. And by the way, if you hear overhead, I have the world's largest like air show going on in my background. So lots of just fine <laughs> overhead. Sorry about that. Uh, so the winner of that is going to be uh, Adam14875, subscriber. You know what that means. Lots of rigged emotes in chat. We have clearly rigged it because this person is a subscriber and they had 5x chance to win. So rigged, sure. rigged, 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 rigged. Uh, but congratulations on the uh, low side U channel bundle. And thanks again to Go Builda. And what an incredible uh, way to step up to celebrate these amazing uh, CAD uh, renders and drawings and designs. What a cool thing to have. We can't wait to do more of this on fun. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out, by the way to everybody who stepped up uh, with their support uh, over the last day. So just want to reach out and have a few people. And if I miss anybody, sometimes our bot does miss things. But uh, Grumpback Will, thanks for two months of, uh, two months in a row, 11 total months of support. Nutty Neo with a Tier 1 sub. Silverhawk 676, three months of support. Don Hup with a Tier 1 sub. FTC 3208 and FRC 568 with a Tier 1 sub. Mecha Muffin, Tier 1 sub. Uh, Mr. Killsteel with a Tier 1. Uh, some bits coming in from Baby IXS Yumavoid. Uh, Tiger 1 with a Tier 1 sub. And uh, Triggered 720 with a Tier one sub thank you everybody for helping support uh loud live and independent content we'd love to do more stuff just like this amazing cad challenge here on fun so go check us out and make sure you check out our discord which the link is in chat all right thank you very much tyler and like you said thank you all very much we can't see i uh, can't wait to see what everyone creates during the season thank you to all of our judges here on air today for your time and dedication these past couple of days don't forget, if you want more FIRST Robotics in your life, make sure you hit that follow or subs subscribe button uh, to, on FUN for both Twitch and on YouTube. On behalf of myself, Valor6800, FIRST Updates Now, and GoBuilda, I would like to thank all teams for their amazing CAD creations and to everyone who has supported or viewed the CAD Challenge. Thanks to FUN and our producer, Tyler, for their support and promotion of the stream. And we'll see you next week right here for more content for, on FIRST Updates Now. Talk to you then. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.